I mean, don't get me wrong. I am a good writer. I always have been. I mean, this is what I choose to do. And I choose to do it for all the right reasons. But as far as writing what I feel, writing what matters to me in a life which guarantees nothing, it's been impossible. It's an impossibly scary ideal to know that at any moment my publisher and fans and critics can turn their back on my work if it doesn't cater to their own current popular conceptions. I have a naturalistic, almost animalistic desire to give a product to the world in return for my acceptance as a writer. I want people to tell me I'm good at what I do. And the same statistics which I've always hated have become what I revere now. They restrain me. They don't let me write my own incorruptible beliefs. Now they've become corrupted by the same fans who claim to love my work even though it isn't what I want to be as a writer. I want to be true to what I know in life, not what will make the media love me. I don't care about that anymore. To let go of the very writing style which has given me my livelihood, it seems like an unrealistic and utopian notion, but I don't care anymore. This is my art. It's what I've devoted my entire existence to from the first time I picked up a pen and wrote down what I felt and flushed my entire being with the actuality in what I wrote. I have never written anything more true and influential to my life and to man's life as a whole than before I became famous. Fame as a writer has restricted me. It's forced me to veer away from my own true work. Hemingway said it best. There's nothing to writing. All you do is sit down at a typewriter and bleed. I'm letting go of the follies that have restrained me. I'm walking through the threshold, through the door which will free me of the restraint that false writing has imposed. I'm walking through the door and I will be true to what I believe, not what sells the most books.